Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel and welcome to an actually requested video. After my haul and I showed you that I got the Natasha Denona gold palette and I wanted to compare it to my dupes, you guys were super enthusiastic and curious about it, so here we are, this is what we're doing right now. A little bit of a breakdown, I'm gonna be talking about the palette and showing you what I found with my dupes and the shades that I was right, the shades that I wasn't so right and I changed um, I think one or two shades in there to a little bit make it more of a dupe dupe palette. In my previous video, I will link it up here, it was a duping the vibe so I actually have added more um, teals in the palette because I love teals and I there's only two of them in the gold palette. So I have added, added a little bit more, taking out some of the golds. Um, so that is a little bit, we're gonna talk about those modifications. Then, on my face right now, half is Natasha Denona, one eye is Natasha Denona, the other eye is my dupes, and there's a tutorial for this at the end of the video, so I'm not gonna tell you, and let's see if you can figure it out. If you can already figure it out now, let me know in the comments below that you did before the tutorial or before the reveal at the, the reveal, as if it's like this big thing, before the reveal at the end of the video. But to be honest, looking at myself in the mirror, there's one dead giveaway, but for the rest, it looks pretty similar. So let's start with that. Did I need the Natasha Denona Gold palette? Probably not. <laughs> I have to say, my dupes were actually pretty, pretty good, um, especially because I was using pigments that I had pressed myself, especially because I was using special shades anyways. But I have to say that if I take out the, let's say a pressed glitter that I put in, and uh, the Cleona Cosmetics eyeshadow, and the Tami Tanuka pigments that I pressed, I think that it would be very, very hard to dupe this palette with just simple single eyeshadows from, let's say, easy to reach brands. So for me, that would be uh, Makeup Geek or um, Nabla Cosmetics, things like that. I am sure that it's even easier to dupe if you go the side of Cleona Cosmetics, Divina Cosmetics, JD Glow, all of these indie brands that are in the US that for me are actually very difficult to reach. Um, if not for very expensive shipping. I actually was looking to make an order. It's just prohibitive. So, I'm still happy I bought it. Oh, I didn't even show it to you today in this video. There she is. Very, very beautiful. Lots of different textures, lots of different interesting things going on in here. And uh, here is the little palette that I put together that is the dupe palette. And uh, I'll run you through it, it's a bit different than the one that I showed you in the previous, but this is how they look, let's say, next to each other. So, let's get through these eyeshadows. I did a full one whole arm with the swatches compared, but here I will just swatch it on my hand. I'll add the, the arm swatches all together at some point before the tutorial so that you can take a look and they are just um, in order like this. Not super complicated. That's how we're going about it. Let's get started. I'm starting with actually a shade I didn't have like a very good match with and uh, this is my dupe. This is Naughty Novice by Tami Tanuka. This is a pack pigment I pressed myself and this is Lime Chrome. And you can see that Naughty Novice has a much stronger tan colored base, um, warm brown base, whereas uh, Lime Chrome is much stronger in the shift and a much lighter base. So that was the first one that I did not get correct and you can already also see it on the finger. I think the effect overall is quite similar if you apply it on, as a topper on top of something because I did so today and the difference was not super huge. However, uh, this was already something that I didn't get right or I think I got the shift quite similar. The Natasha Denona Lime Chrome is even more lime, more acidic, so to say. Next up is the matte teal and I'm starting always with my dupes because that's just how I started. 
This is Time Travel by Makeup Geek from the new um, rebranded formula and here is the Natasha Denona Python. So you can see that uh, Python is a little bit less saturated of a teal, it's a little bit um, more grey, less blue and uh, less pigmented actually than time travel. I love time travel. In uh, today's look obviously I use them both and the final effect is really really similar. I don't know, can you see a difference in the blues? The final effect is really really similar and um, overall yeah, I actually love time travel a little bit more because it's a little bit more punchy, but you can build this one up to be at the same intensity. So here I think the dupe is just as good, if not better. Next up we are comparing the topper shade that is kind of a glittery shade. Here we have Neve Cosmetics Pressed Glitter in the shade Dis Jelo. This makes a mess every time I touch it because I pressed it myself just adding a little bit of wet binder in there. And this is the shade Sparks from the Natasha Denona. It's a much more refined glittery pressed glitter formula and definitely nicer to use, easier to use and less warm of a shift and uh, less white of a, of a base. So the, one, the Natasha Denona one is really translucent base with all these glitters on top whereas the Neve Cosmetics has more of a white base as you can see and a warmer shift. Again on the eye today I don't think you can see the difference but it's there and I'm actually very happy because this these jello every time I touch it there's glitter particles everywhere <laughs> everywhere. I could have done a better job pressing it yes but it was an attempt and I don't I barely use it because it's such a pain to use so that went fine next up is actually something that is completely different and I totally failed at um, it's this it's a nice um, like light toned neutral this one here is honey badger by makeup geek and this is aria from the gold palette and it's just a nice hazelnut note it's very pretty I think Honey Badger is uh, way too, I don't know, orangey in undertone for it and um, yeah, I even had to like search a little bit for something with a little bit more of a rosy undertone but I, I, I think it went too far here. So um, not a good dupe here but it's again, it's a neutral and that is one of my bigger criticism of Natasha Denona palettes in general is the fact that the variation in between shades is very small. So you're actually looking at gold, brasses, or like uh, uh, more bronzy shades, and these neutrals that are so similar to each other. Anyways, let's continue. Next up, we have Orium from the Metropolis palette and Kava from the gold palette. And I, as I said, I tried to keep as many as of the shades of my original dupes palette as possible. And these two have a very similar um, texture, let's say, where, but Orium is a little bit of a duochrome with this beautiful, um, more, yeah, brown, more warm brown base with a shift. Whereas Kava is a straight up glittery, sparkly goodness, beautiful. But the, the yeah. Let's say the texture is very similar. And this is something that we'll see more often is the fact that I can dupe a lot of these, these shades with shades from the Metropolis palette. And that was also why initially I had bought that one as my only Natasha Denona palette because yeah, it just contains more shades and a lot of the ones that she's known for, let's say. Next up is another shade that didn't really turn out correct, uh, but I had more options for this. So here we have Makeup Geek Houdini, which is a dark teal. And here we have the Natasha Denona Gold Palette one, which is called, who knows, Aurora. Um, Aurora definitely has a sheerer base with much more glitter on top whereas Houdini is a more it's a foiled eyeshadow from Makeup Geek so it's more of a traditional metallic 
both beautiful, but I had more options for this in my original dupes palette and uh, I'll take it out right now. Um, I had two extra shades that I brought in. One is the shade Autumn Breeze by Makeup Geek, which is just a shimmery teal. It's a little bit lighter, so that's why I chose Houdini. And then here is a pigment from Tami Tanuka, which is called Soul Gatherer. And uh, this one here has a much clearer shift, as you can see. And I wanted to use it to make the more traditional um, Makeup Geek shades a little bit more interesting. But in the end, I think this one is the closest one and they are very different. I think this is something that I don't have. Aurora is something that I don't have and looks very, very beautiful on the eye, especially by itself. And it was one of those shades that made me doubt about buying this because I like just like this one. Eh? I like very intense color and uh, these look a little bit desaturated as you can see the difference. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I'm actually happy especially because this shade has so much glitter goodness in it. I hope it shows up on camera. I'm not really convinced. One thing I forgot to show you is actually the comparison between the uh, teal in the Metropolis palette and the um, teal in the gold palette and I'll just place it here on the side to again show you why I bought the Metropolis first it's a much more intense color it's also a cream a, a creamy matte um, formula which is amazing uh, compared to this one right here that is in the gold palette so this was also something that was in my duping the vibes palette but I left out because it's a uh, cream to powder, but it, it's also in the uh, Metropolis. So I, I feel like the more we go on, the less you'll need the gold if you have Metropolis. But that's a matter of pretty much, not pretty much, but many of the Natasha Denona eyeshadow palettes. I just realized that I washed away myself, myself tan, which was I, I had applied just earlier. But it's where my Fitbit is, so it doesn't show too much, I'm sorry. Anyways, moving on to the yellowy matte, which eh, wasn't so great. Um, I'm actually going to switch it around because I think it's better. So this is Dijon from the Gold Palette, and this is Paper Tiger from Colourpop. And you can really see that Paper Tiger is a much more yellow, warm yellow tone compared to Dijon. So I hadn't really got it very right. The other shade that I had picked in my dupes for this um, vibe was Tiki Hut by Makeup Geek. But even this one is not mustardy enough to be similar to Dijon. So it's a little bit in between these two would be what Dijon is. I really like the shade. It's really quite unique in my collection and I'm happy I have it. So not mad there, but not a perfect dupe or not even close to a dupe. Next up we have Oro, which means golden Italian, look at that, I mean, oh, this is the gold palette. My dupe is Toucan from Colored Rain, which is um, actually something I had to look for and pull from my collection. This is from the Safari palette that I just depotted. If you didn't see that, I'll link the video here, it was fun to do, which, but it's anyways much more orangey. But I feel like the, the shimmer, the texture, the fold is very similar. And then here I want to show you from Metropolis the shade Imperia, which looks very similar in the pan, but it's much more of a dirty gold on. So yeah, these are the gold golds, Auto. Even though I really don't think this is the shade of gold, but that's okay. If you look at what her new palette is, the, the bronze palette, there's so much similarity to shades like this and then they, she calls them bronzes. So I'm very confused. Oh, I actually had to Google, what is bronze? Because I know the shade of gold, but what is bronze? I know knew it as a much more murky brown, shim, brown metal. Anyways, moving on to the matte deep brown. This is the shade Log. As you can see, there's a lot of fallout, and that's also what you see in the pan. These mattes have a lot of kick up. I found it was very there. It's a different kick up than the Anastasia ones, though. They're, it's not a powdery kick up, this comes off in chunks. 
kind of. It's very difficult to explain. And this is from Makeup Geek Coffee Before Talkie, which I think is quite similar. If I can actually get it to build up a little bit. There we go. It's quite similar, dark brown. Maybe the Makeup Geek one is a little bit warmer. From the Metropolis, I also had one in my in my dupes palette, but I discarded it. And it's this guy right here. It's warmer. There's a bit of a green undertone on it, uh, more of a poopy brown. <laughs> so this one didn't match so much, so it was out of the running. But I think the Makeup Geek one is quite similar. And um, yeah, overall, I think the formula of the Natasha Denona Gold is very good. But I love love the Makeup Geek one as well, so I can get the same looks with either of those. Then we have the shade Varis from the gold palette right here, which is a beautiful, beautiful shimmery um, brown. And I duped this shade from the gold palette with one from Metropolis. But they look so similar in the pan. But look at how different they are in, per in person, I'll swatch the rather. Um, Varis in the gold is much warmer, more of a bronze if you want to call it. And uh, the one in the Metropolis is more of a brown shimmer. Looking at this and looking at this, it makes me doubt whether I need the bronze palette, the new one. No, I don't need it, but just like I didn't need the gold. Will I get it? Maybe. Like I still have this very strong hope that it will be in store when I'm back in Italy in July and then I can touch it. Even though it, I don't know that you can touch cosmetics anymore in store now. We'll see, but maybe I see it in person and it will convince me to see it from far away. I don't know how it works. Anyways, this is, um, yeah, it was quite different than what I expected. Much warmer, bronzy shade. As I say, the dupes look very similar, but they're not precisely exact dupes, which I guess I should be happy about because otherwise I spent a hundred euros for nothing, <laughs> which uh, we wouldn't like to have done, would we? Let's move on to the last row. And this is the shade, the shade, Natasha Denona Brass. <sighs> I'm getting fuzzy feelings down there. And then Cleona Cosmetics Corrosion. These two are the stars of the show and it depends who you ask which one is better. I don't know. I think they're both absolutely stunning. Cleona Cosmetics has a shift uh, that is more green lime compared and a bit more texture compared to um, the Natasha Denona that looks more metallic and less glittery, if you can catch the difference. I think they're quite similar and I'm so happy to have both in my life because sometimes corrosion is too shifty for a neutral look, but sometimes you really want something that has this amazing, amazing effect on the eye. So these are the two heroes. I'm happy to have both. Gorgeous, so happy. Let's breeze through the next one. It's a matte. Here is Sandstone from Natasha Denona. Here is Tiki Hut. I already showed it to you, but I think actually here we're quite close. Tiki Hut is a little bit darker, um, but I feel like they're quite similar. Again, nobody buys Natasha Denona for their transition shades, do you? I don't know, maybe you do. I don't, I wanted the shimmers. So this is not very interesting. Next up is a shade I hadn't duped properly like at all. It wasn't even in my imaginary to do so. And it's the shade Alchemist right here, which is a nice, again, mid-tone coppery bronze. Like it. And I found a similar shade in the Metropolis palette right here, which is actually even better because it has more texture. Um, I feel like Alchemist is quite a traditional shimmer which I mean, you should have a variety of textures in there, but I love the, how loud these ones are. And this one is more of a traditional shimmer. I think it makes the palette more um, wearable on a day-to-day -day basis. Like if you just want to go for a neutral, simple, you can actually create it 
very easily with these type of shades and here is the shade in the Metropolis palette that I found to dupe it which is much more glittery in your face warmer as well again not a perfect dupe but also not a shade that I would have bought the palette for so I'm okay with that next up is another boring brown this is teak from the gold palette and I duped it with Deja Brew of Makeup Geek didn't catch the undertones very well. I went much more um, cool to yellow, whereas it, this is much more warm toned. Uh, all of hers, you see that I, like all of the ones that I picked were more cool toned than the ones that are in the palette. And it's okay, um, I'm not mad about it. I like these tones very much. They look very good on me. I have warm undertones, so it actually just looks good on me. And the final shade in the gold palette is Aurum, which is golden Latin, and I duped it with Night Show by Colourpop. And uh, Night Show is, um, I don't know, more brown maybe than Aurum, but Aurum is another one of these just boring shimmers, or regular shimmers, let's say. They're really similar, I find. It's, uh, Aurum is a little bit lighter, but it's quite similar. Not super excited for this shade, but I have to say, Overall, I think the dupes were quite close in the spirit. They're not exact dupes and um, I'm okay with that, I'm happy with that. I think I did a good job in my duping the vibes palette to actually capture the vibe of the palette and yeah, I don't know. It's still a cute palette. It's still a cute palette, but finally I can put these shadows back away because I have the real thing the real deal right here um maybe a quick review i'm not going to do a separate review on this palette because uh, it's not new everybody's seen it and i kind of talked about it right now but the mattes are quite powdery in the pan they have kick up but they blend like a dream like i'm used to from my mini um gold for example i really like these mattes they work really really well these shimmers work best with your fingers instead of with a brush i have a bit of a hard time especially with this guy right here to ap i apply it usually in my inner corner and i really need to dig in with the brush to get it on the brush but otherwise if i put it on my pinky i'll just have it all around my eye uh, too much so uh, that is something to keep in mind overall it's a beautiful palette with a lot of variety. I can see myself really using it a lot. Um, and the thing is to try to not get pushed into making the same looks like this one right here is a typical look that I would do. Like this is 100% when I see this palette, this is what I wanna do. And I thought of doing something else today, but I'm like, no, this is like, when you see a, a look like this, you say, oh, is this the gold palette? Exactly. So <laughs> this is what I went for. Um, and I, the thing is, like, look at how nice this section is. You can, you can go very, very warm. You can keep it very neutral. You can keep it very simple with these shades. I don't know. I think it's, it's a very nice palette. Now the question is whether I'm gonna take it with me traveling since I'm going on holidays for two weeks um, on a road trip. So there's not gonna be any flights. Um, but I'm afraid of breaking the palette. It's so expensive, so probably not. But I feel like I could get a lot of use out of it. That said, I loved my little dupe palette. I do really think that if I, if I didn't obsess about this palette so much, um, like if, if it was out of my mind, I would have been perfectly well off without it. Um, but I really wanted it and I wanted it since it came out. So I'm very happy I have it now. I can, yeah, just be happy and enjoy. I have this feeling that I'm kind of going towards more expensive eyeshadows as things go on, go on, but I'm gonna try to be mindful with that because it's it, it's a moment that you buy every single Natasha Denona palette that comes out that has shades that you like, which is what I feel like the bronze is doing to me. I'm like, do I need it? No, absolutely not. It's just, it's just a brown eyeshadow palette with very warm golds and 
bronzes and coppers which I have a ton of between now the gold my dupes and single eyeshadow collection and the um, Metropolis palette I have so many that I really don't need it so let's have positive thoughts that I don't need that bronze palette I don't need it anyways this was the end of the uh, dupes I'm gonna insert the image here so that you can see them next to each other in one big eyesight um, let me know if you have any questions or if something wasn't clear or anything and now let's get into the tutorial for this eye look and uh, let's see which side is which shall we let's get into it here we go let's try to create the same eye look using the dupes and the original palette and then you tell me which side is which let's see I'm starting off with a light neutral shade in the crease as a transition because I am planning on going neutral but blue or like without bringing the blue and the yellow together I feel like I want to create always the same type of look which is like a yellow crease and the blue uh, the blue outer V and stuff like that so I'm gonna try not to go that way I was even tempted to actually wear a uh, do a neutral eyeshadow look but I mean it's the gold palette if I don't use these transformative shades and the blue what am I here for right um, the neutrals are quite neutral and simple trying not to mix the brushes here and uh, keeping them separate so that I don't have to clean them in between Then going in to deepen the crease a little bit further with the next neutral in the lineup. And it is something that I do like about this palette is that you can easily use the shades to create a gradient without having to blend too much. And I'm trying to find brushes that are the same so that the, the effect is not skewed by the difference in a brush but I'm having a hard time <laughs> especially for like the smaller brushes because I have only one or two of uh, or one of the same brush for the smaller brushes so this one isn't one of my favorites for outer rework as you can see it's not super precise but it will do because I have two quite similar ones. I'd love to know in the comments at what point you noticed the difference between the palettes and uh, what made you guess which one is which, which one is the dupe side and which one is the Natasha Denona side. Because it's also interesting to see which eyeshadow gave you this idea going in even closer to the lash line with the pencil brush to kind of make it a little bit more precise or that bigger brush was a little bit less precise <laughs> bring the color back up and blend that view Now time for the fun bit, let's apply the shimmers. And the best part is, either side that you look at, these shadows are just so beautiful. <laughs> I just cannot, I don't, like I don't have a preference. I think I want to add one more layer of shimmer just here in the middle because I can. I'm using the same Kajal on either side because that's not what we're here checking about. 
and smudging the same blue on the outer corner here to connect and then bringing it inwards. I decided to just clean this brush because I don't have something that does the same effect I think. So this is quite soft so it also blends out the edge and then a little bit more gold on the inner corner here just a different one that we haven't used yet I hope you can see now the difference or similarity of the two eye looks I have a lot of fallout especially on this side this side is almost minimal so I'm gonna try to flick it off put on some mascara and be right back and here we go this is the finished look it's your last chance to put in your guesses which one is which did you guess this one is Natasha Denona this one is my dupes and I think the thing that gave it away for me at least was the blue shimmer because the one on the Natasha Denona is much less metallic and more of a glittery uh, blue and the fact that Corrosion by Cleona Cosmetics which is uh, what I put in the, in the, on the lid here is much more uh, duochrome compared to the shade Brass that I applied here and that's why a little bit I wanted to apply a little bit of a uh, more green toned shifty shade in the middle to make them look a little bit more similar but for the rest you guys i don't know they look very similar to you the uh, final judgment but yeah what do you think i hope you enjoyed this video and that you stayed until the end thank you uh, don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you're not already and i'll see you in my next one bye guys